So, boys, we are live with the first match in season three of the European ladder. We have volunteers, the Apache against Joint Task Force. VDP is our South American community entering the season for the first time. Entering uh, com the competitive scene as well for one of the first times as well. So we're super excited to have them on board. Also, Joint Task Force, a mix of French, Spanish, and an NA clan all thrown together. A couple of their names joining us for the first time as well. Really excited about tonight. Season 3, we're underway. This is the first match in the season. We're going to be playing on Oost of Beak 01, a classic Chapter 1 map. VDP... Are going to be on the attack tonight with JTF on the defense. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope everything runs smooth as butter. So we have JT, uh, JTF on the defense. So you can see them all spawning in immediately. They're looking to secure the first objective. They're setting up a perimeter. It looks like they're going to have a one squad on cap while they have other squads moving around the perimeter. Let's fly over to VDP. I might be a little bit rusty. This is my first game casting in a competitive scene since season two. I've only done um, one life events up until this point. Uh, so I'm a little bit nervous going into this. I've got to say, if things get messed up, I'm sorry. I apologize for that in advance. Let's have a look at our VDB boys. VDP boys. They're coming out of their main base starting phase underway we can see a logic truck there the command car msp staghound rolling out followed by a specialized Willis jeep a sherman coming into action and the rest of the team getting all lined up a second transport there that's the msp i believe so the starting phase is over vdp are moving out of the main base now we can see two willis jeeps in action here Looks like a radio man and a commander, uh, a radio man and a squad leader. And then the command car here, most likely got a, a squad leader in as well. MSP following behind, Logitech truck going out in the field, Sherman coming down the main road. And then there's a flank going out wide there. Okay. If you want to see the uh, other portion of this, be sure to check out Louis underscore XXIX on Twitch. He's going to be doing a French slash English comms of this game. First match of season three. Let's see how it plays out here. Obviously, there will be a match two in the future where the roles are reversed, where JTF will be on the attack and VDB will be on the defense instead. This is match one, first one. Hopefully, everything goes smooth. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit anxious. I'm sure the players are equally as nervous and and and, and as anxious as well. We've got the first shots being exchanged there, and it looks like a JTF squad has moved out quite far from the uh, from the cap, and they're starting to send up a defensive perimeter over here. They've managed to take out Al Yaza. This was the commander jeep, if you remember, that came out. The commander was driving squad leaders, probably trying to get up a rally up in position, but you can see. JTF here have moved out with a very far defensive squad set up over here and this will be all the way west of the cap a very forward squad so what this is, means is VDP are going to have to battle through this defensive line first before they can actually start progress on the cap but you can see a lot of spawning in there there's an MSP you can see their infantry is up and they're supported by a stag hound so they're starting to push over there on the western side. Over here, north, what would this be? This would be northeast of the cap. You can see how how forward JTF are. They've pushed all the way out. And we've got a big kill here. It looks like an MSP was ambushed as it tried to come down the road. JTF getting a big kill here early on. An MSP going down. And looks like a full squad also going down. Unfortunate for them. This is something that you will see different from regular games. In these com get on competitive games, the defenders don't just sit on cap. They are actively pushing. This, is, this isn't this is attack and defense. This is attack versus attack. This is what you see in these uh, uh, competitive games. The defending team never sits there. They don't just sit on cap waiting for you to come and attack them. They're going to actively probe. They're going to actively go out. They're going to set a large perimeter. And if you as the attacking team allow them the space and the opportunity, you're going to have a really hard time because you're going to have to battle through basically an attacking team. But it looks like VDP are doing a good job. They're starting to secure the land. They're starting to secure movement. They rushed out a little bit there. They got caught off guard maybe by JTF. Maybe wasn't expecting JTF to push this far out. 
Oh, a little bit of game like that. Sorry about that. But they're starting to push back a little bit. They've got their tanks on the field. And this is something VDP have as an advantage early on in this map. Because look how far away the main base is for the Germans. It takes their tanks four or five minutes to get here. So this is an advantage VDP, uh, VDP have at this moment. They have their tanks on the field. A big advantage for them. And they need to make use of this advantage early on. If they can make the uh, advantage of these tanks early on, push JTF back into the cap and sustain them, that is huge for them. Look at the MSPs as well. The MSPs for the Germans have just arrived. So that allows additional spawns for the defending team here. It's going to be very hard for the uh, VDP the longer this game goes on. Staghound coming forward here. We've got Orc, Nord, and Levron in the Staghound. Two man. We're getting a blast straight on Edgar Smith there. He takes a shell straight to the face. Good job by the Staghound there. And look, this JTF squad has almost been taken out. They do have uh, squad members still up, but that Staghound with the infantry is doing a good job pushing them back. Rough start from BDP. Got to say, they did take a, a few casualties early on, but they're clawing this back piece by piece so good action so far look over here on the north over here on the north with that sherman in support and squads moving forward infantry squads they're starting to claim the north as well sherman took a shot there sherman got hit by a panzerfaust i believe on the side very low on health one more shot and this will go down was it matthew baker it might be matthew baker with the long range panzerfaust there that sherman very low on health less than 50 percent it's gonna have to go back and uh, get repaired matthew baker goes down good shot there by abq securing that sherman keeping the sherman alive R a rib squad here pushing down the road doing a good job initial start for them was a little bit rough but they've done a good job clawing this back great job by vdb getting back into the action from a little bit of a rough start there by the how they got ambushed but a good start by them so far let's have a look over here we've got a zob a what's this zob zob a zob clan squad set up in the tree line they're under fire from machine gun fire look at that machine gun fire coming all the way from the uh, windows of the barn building that barn building is basically a castle you gotta be very careful uh orc nord with that uh stackhound doing some good work here getting those kills in helping his infantry the best he can suppressing suppressing the german defenders and look at the vdb boys they're trying to get around on those flanks they're trying to push him through the south trying to wrap around this jtf infantry here on the defense that stackhound doing an excellent job got a kill on Lud uh, ludovic there ludovic goes down i'm sorry for any uh any stutters in the gameplay it seems to be every time there's an explosion the game stutters a little bit uh i believe that's probably just on my end it'll be my machine that's doing that Tickets wise, we can see the tickets, although it was a rough start for VDP, tickets are very even. Only five tickets different. VDP have done a good job pulling this back. Joint Task Force did a good job at the beginning, taking out that MSP and getting a bunch of ambushes on the, the commander and the command vehicle of the attackers. But they've been slowly pushed back and they've been sustaining casualties. Let's look at the map quickly. How close are those tanks? Those tanks are about a minute away. A minute away. A minute and there's going to be German tanks on the field. And that's going to be very difficult at that point for VDP to, de uh, to deal with. VDP doing a smart thing though. They haven't used their heavy tanks yet. They brought out a Staghound and they brought out a Sherman. They brought out their infantry support tanks first. So VDP are going to have their heavy tanks ready to use. Most likely, most likely they're going to have a Firefly. They're going to have a Churchill. They're going to have their big boys waiting. Let's have a look what tanks JTF are bringing forward here. So they've got a two-man Tiger 1. Very deadly. That's going to be a devastating blow. And behind it, another Tiger 1. So JTF with a very good tank loadout here. Two heavy tanks. And look how beautiful these Tigers are. Rushing forward to the front line. I'm really looking for, forward to Chapter 4 when we get that updated Tiger model as well. Two fierce Tiger 1s heading towards the battlefield. Going to be very hard for VDB to deal with those. Heading back over the battlefield now. You can hear the mortars coming down. So it sounds like mortars are up for both sides. I can hear the mortars going down in the forest over there. It looks like JTF, uh, their squad over here in the, what would this be? The Western Forest. It looks like this squad in the Western Forest has mostly been dealt with. So, good job there, uh, there by VDP to clear out. We have got, uh, no, Danny's down as well. Danny's gone down. We've got SCH here. 
spraying Jackson. Jackson goes down, so a good job there by SDH. The final member of that Western defensive squad has been taken out. Is Ludwig alive? I need to sneeze. Not, sorry, chat. Oh, I apologize for that. So that, West, uh, that Western defense squad has been taken out. So this allows for VDB to push around. Look at the smokes and mortars coming down on camp. Good job there by uh, the mortar crew for the attacking team. Putting those smokes to blind the defenders and also deal some kills at the same time. We've got the 49th. How do I pronounce it? I'm just going to call it the 49th squad. The 49th squad from VDP. They try to push around to the south side. But they've, been en they've uh, encountered another squad here in the south. The south of camp. It's actually next to an MSP, so it's the squad that was holding the Western Forest originally. They respawned on that, on that, uh, for, uh, that MSP in the south, and they countered the push coming in there. Look at the smokes coming down on the camp. Very good smokes, blinding the machine guns. Good shot there by the Sherman, getting another kill on one of the machine. Uh, on the machine gun and it's cf here have been kind of ambushing their little valley their little divot revise went out there but they're kind of sandwiched at the moment and the squad in the north the rib squad who did a good job pushing back they've been a counter push back this jtf squad john grim reaper matthew baker james jefford frank carter carnard and matthew kennedy wildcat i believe they're from uh first rb They've actually counter push it in the north, and they're going to look to capitalize by pushing on this CF squad that are trapped in the middle. You can see Rip going out there. Strafe come down. Actually, it was a friendly strafe. <laughs> a friendly strafe called in. Frank Carter gets sprayed down by some American friendly fire there. It happens. We've got the Sherman here driving forward. The Sherman's actually going to drive straight into this JF. JTF squad, so he's going to have to be careful. One kill there on Matthew Baker. I believe Matthew Baker was one of the AT, so it's a good job that they spotted Matthew Baker first. I could be wrong, but the Sherman doing a good job there, countering this JTF squad in the north, getting one kill. I can hear a Stuka coming in. Stuka, bomb coming in. Ooh, placed right on top of the heads of that CF squad. Half the squad goes down. They still have members alive. Well, that squad under fire from that Stuka. Unfortunate there for them. That Sherman doing a good job keeping this JTF squad pinned. But it's going to have to be careful. It might get flanked by AT. Wild Hold Kennedy. On the flank there. He is an AT. But that Sherman doing a good job there. Kind of distracting. Candidate strike then. Let's look at the time. 30 minutes on the board. Oh, when the Sherman goes down, we missed it. We missed the Sherman going down. Who was that? I believe that was John Grim Reaper with the side flank ammo rack on the Sherman. The Sherman goes down. Unfortunate there. It was doing a good job holding back that JTF squad, but that flank comes in and it's dealt a devastating blow. Big push coming in here on the south side of the cap. No, sorry, this would be, yeah, the south side of cap. The KGR and the 49 squad bundling two squads together are doing a big push through the south trees. They've managed to claim this part of the forest. They've done a good push on the south of cap, coming in strong. SCH there, leaning on a little bit of a charge with Lauren behind. Bunch of defenders going down. The MP40 spraying. Getting another down there. So good job so far by VDP. Tickets still equal. Still not that much in it tickets wise. Where are those Tigers? Look at those Tigers. Those Tigers are on the board. We've not heard any artillery yet. But look how devastating these two Tigers are going to be at this point. Two Tiger Ones working side by side. This is going to be huge for the attackers to deal with. We haven't heard... Oh, speaking of artillery, there comes the first rain of artillery. The first rain of artillery was called in. I believe it was in the tree lines over here. I'm just going to deal with my graphic sense a little bit because I am noticing a lot of stuttering. I'm just going to... Hopefully this will stop some of the stuttering. Because I'm scared we're going to crash any second. So VDP is still pushing in here. 
getting the revives up on their down players. They're doing a good push here. I expect we'll probably hear any art we'll 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 hear artillery coming down soon. Good smokes going out there. Smokes trying to blind the tigers. A little bit off, but they're still doing a good job of trying to blind those tigers. CF, that CF squad has been battling tooth and nail. They came through this ditch and they're still going strong. They're so close to the cap now. They've been pushing so far. Kiffy coming in here. Is Kiffy? Kiffy gets sprayed bound by Eco. Good job there by Eco. Eco's got that gaming headset. He heard the bushes rustle. He heard those footsteps behind him. So good job there by Eco. Watching his squad's flank. That Stackhound is still up. Stackhound doing dry buys. And we have a second Sherman on the field. So VDP is still choosing not to use their big boy tanks yet. They brought forward another infantry support tank. And we've got a Logi team there from ZOB. Logi team most likely going to go set up some repair cranes or mortars. We'll have a look later on. So if CF still doing a good job battling through that ditch. The Staghound here supporting a squad from ZOB. Uh, VDP is getting very close to the cap now. Getting very close to the cap. We might hear that artillery soon. We have the squad from Rip. Oh, a big shot there from Lowo53 and Medi. A big HE shot onto the Rip boys there. Oh, that was a big shot from that Tiger. Taking out the squad from Rip there. A little bit too close together. you got to watch that spacing. That's how devastating a tank can be. Tanks, grenades, and mortars. If you don't space, you could be dealing with a squad wipe in one hit. More smokes coming down. Those mortars have been so good. Uh, we had... Frazio. Frazio pushed in. Into the cap. The first one from VDP to get into the cap itself. And the Staghound goes down. I heard the pop of the Staghound. Unfortunate there. It looks like it was Alexander Renko. The Staghound basically drove right next to him. And Alex, yep, you can see the, the, the Panzerfaust there. Alex sacrificed himself to take out the Staghound. The Staghound is down. Uh, the 49th squad is down as well over here on the south part of Cap. They push quite deep, but they're still coming in. This isn't over. Tickets starting to open up a little bit. We've got a 40 ticket difference now. Time on board, 27 minutes. Still plenty of time. The Sherman over there. The Sherman that we saw coming out had to be hit by Matthew Baker. So it's going to have to go get repaired. Matthew Baker, who uh, did damage to the Sherman earlier on. Being a nuisance to the tank crews here from VDP. They're throwing some smoke screens out to try to cover their, cover their flank and also speed their retreat up. Obviously, if you shoot the turret behind the tank, it gives you a speed boost. That's something we see happen a lot in these competitive games. You see a lot of meta meta tactics used that you wouldn't usually see used in normal games. Should touch the speed turret boost. Matthew Kennedy up on the flank on the north. Rip the rip squad still pushing in. They're still doing a good job here. They're keeping up pressure here on the northeastern flank. They their presence is known by the defenders. But they're keeping up that pressure nevertheless. You can see VDP, they had a rough start. I've said that earlier on. They had a rough start, but they've done, they've done such a good job gaining map control. Originally, they had to fight through all this land, and now they've pushed JTF virtually all the way back into the cap. So they've done a great job of putting this pressure on the defenders here. Excellent job by them, putting the pressure on the defenders there. Keeping the defenders uh, busy. Matthew Baker. Matthew Baker's looking to get another... Well, he's looking to get his first tank kill. Sneaking up on the Sherman. Does he have any ammunition? He might not have any ammunition left, but he's going to be calling out the position. No doubt to his team. He's going to come forward. If he places a mine on the on the Sherman, that puts the Sherman in a devastating spot where a Stuka could be called. Yep, there goes the mine. Mine placed on Sherman. There we go. The engine for the Sherman has been disabled. Samuel gets out. He's... Gets the spray down on Matthew. Good job there by Samuel saving the tank. But a shot just came in on the shirt. Uh, the Sherman. We heard that bounce. The Tigers are pushing forward. Oh no, that Sherman is in such a bad position right now. That Sherman might get clapped on here as these Tigers are pushed forward. 
Sherman has to repair its engine. You can see the smokes going out from the Sherman, trying to blind any sight. You can see the Tigers firing. You heard the shots going out. Sherman's doing its best to put up uh, a smoke screen to protect itself. It's going to get on that repair crane, repair itself, and flee, no doubt. Those Tigers pushing forward. If there's any AT at the moment, those Tigers are so exposed, some AT might be able to get on them. You can see CF there. CF actually doing a good job of trying to distract these Tigers. They had a, uh, a HE place, so this Tiger took a little bit of damage there. And now that Sherman's been saved because the infantry from VDP distracting the Tigers. Unfortunately for C uh, the CF squad, that means they did sacrifice themselves. A second HE goes out there. So these Tigers are a little bit damaged. So good job there by CF sacrificing themselves. But they do save a valuable asset on their team. And now the Tigers have to retreat from the front line. We've got a KGR squad pushing in through the south here. Almost getting all the way up into the cap. And we've got to look at this. Meanwhile, we missed a flank around by the 49th. The 49th actually managed to get his squad up onto the cap itself. Smoke's coming down now. Artillery smoke's coming down. A bombing run came down. That was a allied bombing run. Unfortunately, a little bit too delayed to hit those tigers you can see where they was aimed those aimed to try take out those tigers a little bit delayed though unfortunately the tigers had time to move away but vdp do a good job here that sherman firing shots onto point again you can hear the sherman has returned it's got repaired knowing those tigers have retreated it knows it's safe to put some shots down range again and stop supporting it inf supporting its team's infantry sergeant curry here from first rb part of the jft team Grenadier takes out. <laughs> I would be very annoyed if I was CH, C, SCH then. Getting killed by a Grenadier. Fortunately for uh, him, Lauren gets the revenge. So VDP slowly gaining ground here. 50 ticket difference. 20 minutes left for VDP. Still plenty of time to get on this cap and they've done a good job. CF are here again. Look how close CF are up to the cap. Zob are close to pushing onto the cap as well. Rip. We've got Gun. I can't pronounce this name. But we've got a Bren Gunner here from the Rip uh, squad. He's pushed all the way forward onto the edge of the uh, edge of the cap himself. Small smoke screens going out here. And again, this is such a hard objective to take. If you don't take this objective quickly, it can turn into a real grind. This is basically a castle. If you've played this map on a public server, you know how difficult this is to take against an organized team. More uh, artillery. This is German artillery coming down now. Well-placed artillery taking out the Zob. The ZOB squad there. Very well placed German artillery. And we had the KGR squad also got taken out by the defenders. Daniel Walker and Ludwig coming through the uh, trenches now. They're going to tidy up anything those mortars, uh, that artillery did not finish up. But yeah, going back to how difficult this map is. You basically have to assault this fortress here. It's so hard to take. There's open field all around. You have to make such a coordinated assault with tanks, artillery, logistics assets, command assets, everything together. We've got a Stuka coming down. Stuka landed far in the north. I actually don't know what it was aimed at. I can't see what it was aimed at. But a Stuka landed far in the north. Maybe at an MSP, maybe at a FOB, who knows. But yeah, this map is very difficult to take. VDP have done an excellent job so far. They've pushed JTF all the way back to the objective. Strafe coming down there. Slightly off point. It almost got a couple of kills. Just slightly off its mark. So VDP have done an excellent job so far. Of managing to push JTF all the way back onto the objective. Again, this objective is so hard. Not only are you attacking a fortress. But in the starting phase. JTF were allowed to move so far out. You saw their, their, their squad. They were all the way over here from the objective. And then they had a, a squad all the way up deep in the north as well. You can move so far out in the starting phase. As a defender on this objective. It makes it so hard for the attackers as the attackers you really do need to use speed and momentum 
and JTF knew how to per per uh, perfectly counter that at the beginning. Matthew Baker there ambushing one of the Churchills that have come out now. He's got a mine on it. He's hit a Panzer Strike. The Churchill is low on health. Can Mam save it? Yeah, Mam saves it. The Churchill is going to be saved for time being. CF, however, CF, their squad has been ambushed. James doing a good job there. Uh, Radio Man getting a bunch of kills. James finally gets sprayed down through the smoke. CF having a hard time with that Radio Man from the Germans there. Artillery now coming down. This is this is British artillery landing on the cap, getting a bunch of kills on the defenders there. It was a four-round artillery burst, so th that will be back in, I think it's six minutes before we'll see artillery again for the Allies. But that was a good artillery barrage. You got a couple of kills there. If it was a little bit deeper to the south, it might have actually taken out the Tiger or forced the Tiger to retreat. Nevertheless, it was well placed. It got a bunch of kills. Let's head on over to the eastern side and see what's happening over on the east. We've got the Rib Squad in the east. They're battling a squad from JFT. And they're doing a good job. It's John Grim Reaper who got that Sherman kill earlier. He's doing a little deep flank there, looking for where the rallies are, looking for where the spawns potentially are. Frank Carter and uh, Matthew Wildcat here. Again, a couple of kills there as Rib tried to push through those trees. Rib have had a hard time this game. They've had a real... Getting ambushed at the beginning. They had a hard time and they've been constantly up against it with squads countering every one of their pushes. CF are doing a good job pushing through this ditch again. Smoke's going out. Grenade's going out. They're pushing forward. A little bit close clumped together. One grenade here might spell doom for that squad. See the Churchills headed back to get repaired. And there's a Sherman on the field as well. So Sherman and Churchill on the field. We've got that Tiger 1 sitting on camp. KGR, uh, KGR squad close to the objective as well. They push along to the bush line. That Tiger is on the cap itself now. The defenders may be feeling pressured here. Calling that tank to get on camp. Feeling, a, feeling the pressure a little bit. As again, they're pushed all the way back. Eternal Soldier. Is Eternal Soldier still alive? I hate when uh, we get this book and it's hard to tell when a soldier's alive or not. He is He is not alive. So CF doing a good job clearing up that trench line. Gives them good route onto the objective. We've got ZOB with that hedge line firing. Smokes there blinding the barn. KGR pushing up and we've got the 49th trying to do this flank in the western part of the forest as well. But look at JTF. JTF have been so aggressive this game. They've had counter infantry squads constantly, constantly countering the pushes coming in. Curry goes down there. He gets sprayed down by some good machine gun fire. That tiger coming onto the north side of the objective. Maybe trying to spot the enemy tanks. And we're going to push coming in here. Al Yasser's pushed forward and he gets sprayed down. He's the commander there. Trying to get on the objective. Trying to lead his soldiers forward. Time on the board. 16 minutes. Still time to take this cap. Tickets still pretty close. This ticket uh, difference isn't that large. These tigers, though, have been so devastating. I would, I, I, I would expect artillery to start landing soon. Strafe coming in there. Strafe, I believe, actually got a kill on Lieutenant Weed there. Lieutenant Weed goes down. That Tiger's placed itself perfectly as well to counter the squads from CF as they flank and Zazop as they push through these trees. Oh, a shot landing on the Tiger there. I believe it bounced. That's Church. Was that the Sherman? Sherman landing a shot on the Tiger. The, uh, Sherman's not going to pen a Tiger from the front, but it did land a shot telling the Tiger, look, I've got my eyes on you. You better watch out. Tiger returning fire. Tiger hitting a shot on the Sherman. It was a bit of a glancing shot. The Sherman's still about 80%, 90% health. But that Sherman has had a slap back in its face. And then a follow-up from the Tiger missing as the Sherman no doubt retreated, got repair, changed its angle of attack. Big push coming in here from VD, VDP from the south. Trying to at least, again... There's this JTF squad in the in the west who just keep pushing out and countering them so hard for VDP here. 
but they've done a good job pushing onto the objective. As we've said, they've gained so much ground. Alpha there, game flanked by Walker, Danny, Radio Man. SCH has gone down. CF and ZOB pushing deep here. Getting very close to the objective. Oh, that Sherman gets hit again. Sherman getting hit by another shot there. I expect... What time is it? We've got 14 minutes left. I would fully expect artillery to come down soon on the objective. And maybe a big infantry push come in. If we saw artillery from the attackers here... It might force the Tiger to retreat. Maybe even destroy the Tiger. Pack there. Pack is up from 1st RB. Or part of the JFT car. I think Brian's actually going to bleed out. I don't think he actually knows he's wounded. I think he might bleed out while operating that. It, it shows he's on low health. Tiger's relocating. Tiger knows not to stay in position for too long. The Tiger's going to start relocating. It's been stood in that position for quite a while. Might expect the bomb to drop on its head or artillery soon, so he is moving. Rib changing up their angle of attack. They're no longer approaching from the north. They're actually approaching from the south now, and they've got very close to the objective. They're doing a good job supporting the south here. JTF trying to hold back the support coming in. You've got that Churchill also over on this angle of attack now. Artillery. Artillery coming in. That is Defender Artillery. Actually, a couple of team kills there. I'm not sure where those team kills came from. But that was a four-round artillery burst. And they actually got a couple of kills there. You can see a couple of individuals went down there. SCH actually managed to survive. So he'll be able to get a few revives up there. Zob and CF moving very close to the camp. Who do we have here? We have... Igar moving in. Couple of, look at that. There was a big triple kill grenade kill at some point. Bren gonna here from ZOB on the edge of the cap. Smoke's going out there. Trying to help the rest of his cl uh, clan members and his squad members as they push forward. This Bren going very close to the objective. That tiger being blinded by some smoke, but it's still on this north angle. A guard trying to peek through the, the bushes with that brain gun, looking to support, looking to clear out some machine guns. He's got eyes on Daniel Hart there, and Daniel Hart peeks the corner, getting the kill. Unfortunate there. Tiger still in the north. These Tigers are going to be so hard for the British to, to deal with. The Piat worst, Piat is the worst handheld AT uh, weapon in the game currently. So it's going to be so hard for them to deal with it. Artillery coming in. This is more artillery. Artillery there doing a good job holding back the attackers as that big wave of infantry was coming in. Are we going to see artillery return soon? Will we see commander artillery drop from the allies? Where is the second tiger? I've not seen the second tiger for a while. Where has the second tiger disappeared to? I wonder. At some point, the second tiger looks like it's been destroyed. It has been. So at some point, one of the tigers was destroyed. I apologize for missing it. But the other tiger has been destroyed. So good job there from uh, VDP. 11 minutes on the board. Hit there on the tiger. The tiger takes some damage. Tiger retreating. Taking some damage there. Second shot falls just shy. Tiger's trying to find where it's getting shot from. Looks like the Tiger's going to get away. Rip pushing in again. They've done a good job pushing through this tree line again. They've got support coming in. KJR pushing in. Zob been trying to get onto the objective. Every time they try to push across this field, though, they just counted so hard. CF trying to uh, push along this ditch line as well. Vo 49 have changed up their angle of attack now. That Tiger driving through the mortars and smoke, actually using the, uh, the, the smoke screen from VDP to its advantage there. Shielding it from view. It's gone board. Uh, <clears throat> Vital here. Vitality push forward. Rifleman along the ditch line. Wildcat to his left. 
Gonna have to be careful. He checks his left. He didn't spot Wildcat. Wildcat blending in with that bush and tree line next to him. Look at this. Just right next to each other. Well, Wildcat probably heard that shot. Vital pointing shots down range. Wildcat probably heard that shot. Yeah, there goes the grenade. He heard that shot. Lands perfectly at the feet. Grenadier goes out. Misses. And he gets sprayed down by... <coughs> Alexei with that MG42. Time on board. Nine minutes. Looking very, very desperate now for VDP. They've got at least seven minutes to start capping the point. Can they do it? We can see a lot of blue names pushing forward. I see a new tank on the field there. It's the Sherman. The Sherman's pushing forward now. Sherman putting some shots down range, no doubt. Churchill coming forward behind him. Big push coming in. CF pushing in with a squad now. Using the, uh, the ditch line here. Good kills there. James goes down. Matthew Baker, the AT, who's been a fawn in the side of the AT team here. He's got his big AT grenade out. He's going to throw that. Falls a little bit short. Yeah, falls a little bit short. Matthew Baker still going forward, though. He gets one kill there with his car nine. And he gets finished off by Frasio there. Artillery and smokes coming down on point. The, the Sherman and Churchill putting shots in straight. A good straight from there. Managing to get a kill. Smoke screen blinding the defenders there as they try to push forward. But look at this. Look at this squad here on the perimeter to the north. JTF. Again, they're not just sitting on cap. They're counter-attacking. Lauren on cap. CH on cap. Did he spot the rally? Did he hear the rally? Rally goes down there. So this is good by Lauren and SCH. Get on the cap here. Brian goes down. Axe gets sprayed down by SCH as well. Good job by them. They've taken out one of the defenders' rallies. This could be the opportunity they need. We've got the tanks firing on. The Churchill and Sherman pushing closer and closer. KGR and Rip trying to rush a squad forward from the uh, west. SCH and Lauren doing a good job holding this barn down so far. Can they keep the pressure off? Defender, Pioneer coming in here. Pioneer coming in. Tofu gets a kill. Lauren, can Lauren get him? Lauren with the M1 carbine gets him. Can he get the revive on? He's getting shot from the side, though. It's Lauren versus the world here. Under a fire from canines, grenades, everything's been thrown, and he gets shot in the back. Unfortunate, but a good, good effort there by Lauren and STH. That Sherman, look how forward the Sherman's pushing out. The Sherman's all the way up to the objective. Churchill also pushing along the trench line here. CH with a squad behind. Carter trying to flank this tank. Look how close he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys. Kilroy. There we go. Car goes down. Sherman took a hit there. The Sherman took a hit. Sherman took a second hit from 80. Long range 80 from Matthew Baker. This Sherman... Um, I was about to say the Sherman goes down. It got hit by that Tiger. The Tiger from Spectre there. Firing... He traced the shots. He he knew where the tie, uh, the Sherman was. But the uh, Sherman didn't move because of the smokes. He didn't have time to move. So he was able to finish off, line up that shot. Strafe coming in. Good strafe there along the ditch. Didn't get any kills, but it would have suppressed the attackers. Six minutes. Roughly four minutes left for VDB to get on cap. A hundred tickets difference at this point. Can they get on cap? Rooting for them here to take this cap. They're doing a good job here. They've got blue names pushing forward. Zob, Z-O-B with a squad pushing forward to the cap. Using the smokes there as a good screen. Bjorn gets sprayed down. Suppressive fire as they push up to the first barn. And they get into the first barn. Can they hold it? Lul's getting a kill there. Lul's. Oh, Lul's missing there. Choking a little bit. But the brain comes, comes in. Brain gun and machine gun there. Exchange. I can hear a tank exchange going on. Tiger and Churchill. 
Churchill's having a hard time penning that Tiger from the front. If he uses APS, he will be able to pen the Tiger, but he's bouncing. I hope he's using APS. He's at a very hard angle to pen that Tiger, though. Tiger, one big hit from that Tiger takes the Churchill down to about half health. Tiger changing his angle. Uh, Churchill changing his angle. One hit there. Hit. Takes out the engine of the Tiger. The Tiger is currently immobilized. 49 for Pusher squad in now on cap as well. This is a good push here at the end. Panic goes down there. A machine gun actually got a team kill there from infantry. Andrea getting a kill there, but he goes down. More infantry moving in. Oh, Mortis there. Team kills from the Mortis as Zob pushing. Rip pushing in. We've got Con... Uh, Con is this Conglave? He gets hit by some stray fire there, though, from the barn. He has to duck down and get hit... Uh Rip uh, a bandage off before he bleeds out. That Churchill retreating. That Tiger also retreating, both on about half health as they exchange shots there. Just what an exchange of mortars. This is both, I believe, German and also allied mortars just littering that field there. Four minutes left. It's looking very hard for VDP at this point to get this cap. But nevertheless, what an excellent game they've had. They, <clears throat> they should hold their heads high in this game. Being fairly new to competitive being fairly new to the competitive scene vdp have done an excellent job here on this very hard objective they've battled across the map considering where they started from and how much they've pushed back on jtf they've done an excellent job this game a lot of blue names getting into this first bomb doing their best trying to neutralize the cap revives going out Cam, they do a last minute cap here. Then gets sprayed down. He tried to throw a gammon into the factory, but he gets sprayed down. Ooh, that was a big, big grenadier there. Big grenadier hit. Bombing runs coming in now. Every commander asset. Second bombing run coming in. Ooh, just falling a little bit too deep. But look at JTF. JTF, desperate defense here almost as they're throwing the throwing all their defenders forward to this forward bar now. Making sure they don't lose the cap within the last two minutes. Churchill flying forward here. Look at this Churchill go. Last heroic attempt here from VDP. Churchill charging forward. Again, a bunch of kills as it comes in deep here. Driving into the cap. Good drift around the corner. Machine gun blaring. Cannon blaring. Pioneer trying to catch up with the Churchill. A shot in the back there from a Panzerfaust. Barely dents the Churchill. The Churchill's just charging forward. Drives over Curry. Curry gets squished. SDH is here. He's pushing his squad forward. Red pushing forward as well. He gets hit by a direct grenadier to a face. That Churchill doing the best job it can of just trying to push his team forward. A tank goes down there. I believe that was a... Uh, was that the Tiger? The Tiger going down? What tank was that? A uh, Firefly killed a Puma at the end. So Firefly getting a kill on the German Puma. So good job from that tank kill. Getting a kill on the Puma there. Churchill just doing dry pies. A minute left, and it looks like JTF will be the victors from this game. They're going to hold on to the objective. Artillery there coming down from the defenders at the end. JTF will hold all objectives. They're going to be the victors from this game. But what a performance from VDP. New faces to the competitive scene and i think everyone can give them a round of applause there they've done a very good job on a very difficult map this map was played in season two and we saw teams how much they struggled in season two with this map on the attack i think vdp have done an excellent job here 
Also, giving credit to JTF. JTF, what an excellent defense they've had. A very aggressive aggro defense. They've been constantly pushing out. They haven't just sat back on the cap. They've been constantly in the face of VDP. Pushing out all the time. Counter-attacking. Finding where those spawns are. Making sure VDP have a hard time on the attack. And that is game vdp congrats uh sorry vdp commiserations you had a good job on the attack unfortunately for, for you jtf is going to come out victorious here today congratulations to jtf hold your heads high though both teams performed excellently this was the first match in season three i hope you guys enjoy it i hope the teams enjoyed it we have a chance for vdp in the second match of round one later on in the month but yeah if you've just been watching this on twitch i am going to be ending the stream here and restarting without a delay so we can watch the match replay live so don't go away chat i will be back in half an hour after the delay is gone so we can talk about the match live and maybe do some interviews so until then Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm. See you soon.